our respiratory system. Respiratory system. We all breathe air to live. Our respiratory system consists of the nose, windpipe and lungs. While breathing, air enters through our nose and reaches the lungs through the windpipe. Our lungs absorb oxygen from air and sends it to the blood. The oxygen reaches all parts of our body through the blood. This oxygen burns the food we eat to give us energy. When we breathe out, harmful carbon dioxide comes out of our body through our nose. Breathing purifies our blood and helps us to obtain energy. Let us study about the organs of our respiratory system and their functions. The nose. The nostrils act as the air intake, bringing air into the nose where it is warmed and humidified. Tiny hairs called cilia present in the nostrils filter out dust and other particles that enter the nose through the breathed air. The windpipe. The air enters the windpipe which lies partly in the neck and partly in the chest cavity. The walls of the windpipe are strengthened by stiff rings of cartilage to keep it open. The windpipe is also lined with cilia which sweep fluids and dust particles out of the airway so that they do not enter the lungs. The lungs. Our body has two lungs. They are like soft, moist sponges which are extremely delicate. They help in the process of breathing. The air we breathe in fills the lungs. The oxygen from the air mixes with the blood and carbon dioxide is given out. The lungs send the absorbed oxygen to different parts of the body through blood. The process of breathing. The process of taking in oxygen, inhale, and giving out carbon dioxide, exhale, is called breathing. Take a deep breath. Do you feel the air rushing in? Now blow out. Do you feel the warm air blowing over your lips? As you breathe in, inhale, a special organ called a diaphragm pulls your lungs down making them bigger. This causes air to rush into your lungs. When you breathe out, exhale, the diaphragm again squeezes the bottom of your lungs and the air is forced out of them. Effect of breathing unclean air. We all need to breathe to stay alive but if we breathe dirty air, we develop health problems and become ill. Nowadays, one of the major problem is air pollution. The harmful gases released from factories, smokes, vehicles, etc. mix with the air and cause air pollution. When we breathe this air, it is dangerous for us. These gases can cause some harmful diseases like asthma, coughing, throat infection, lung cancer, chest pain, etc. To reduce air pollution, we should keep the air clean. Planting trees keeps the air clean. Plants use carbon dioxide during photosynthesis. They give out oxygen for us to breathe during the day. Use vehicles in good condition. The government has made rules to control the pollution caused by vehicles. Vehicle owners have to get their cars or scooters checked regularly. If all of us follow these air rules, then the air pollution can be reduced. Treat factory waste properly. Factories and industries should ensure that the harmful components of the smoke should be removed before releasing them in the atmosphere. The government has also made strict rules for this. Keep the air clean. Planting trees keeps the air clean. Plants use carbon dioxide during photosynthesis. They give out oxygen for us 
to breathe during the day. Use vehicles in good condition. The government has made rules to control the pollution caused by vehicles. Vehicle owners have to get their cars or scooters checked regularly. If all of us follow these air rules, then the air pollution can be reduced. Treat factory waste properly. Factories and industries should ensure that the harmful components of the smoke should be removed before releasing them in the atmosphere. The government has also made strict rules for this.